Um, I want to begin by asking, uh, well, firstly, just saying congratulations, obviously. Um, how, what does it mean to you to be a European shooting star? Because you've already got quite a lot of good credits behind you. So, because obviously for some shooting stars, you know, it's like this is the very start, but you're already kind of already on the ascendancy. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. I, I didn't do the first movie that changed my life. I created, well, I created that. I didn't... Was, it wasn't a purpose, but uh, yeah, I, I did it like for a couple of years now. But it's an opportunity for us to meet different sort of um, different approach of acting because of the culture of everyone, because of the countries, and also had a chance maybe to work in a different language than in French or just yeah, to meet people. You know, we have the chance that we are here and we don't, we're not doing this uh, interviews and everything on Zoom so we can physically meet each other and it's very important for cinema, I think. Yeah, exactly. there seems to be a real feeling in the room that we're all really happy to be here <laughs> yeah. because we're sort, of, we're sort of celebrating film again I and mean, we haven't had yes, the chance to really yes, yes. to do that for some yeah, time. Yeah, I really feel like I'm in a school trip, you know. We had yesterday, we had a beer together in the hotel lobby. We just talked about our background, our stories, and we're just all smiling and just happy to be here. And this is what's the most important thing, just to connect with each other. Talking of backgrounds and stories, I was going to ask you a little bit just about your, your own background in regards to becoming, uh, to getting into acting. Is this something you wanted to do from when you were very small or did you sort of discover that passion later on? No, I think I always knew I needed to express myself. I wasn't aware if it was through my body or through words, but I loved to act very soon when I was a kid, but alone, you know, in my room. I invented myself like a whole world. I had like a fake boyfriend. I had like a, I told everybody, people, I was a bit of a liar, you know, I, I invented myself, but I was a gymnast at the time and I didn't have like a real life. So yeah, I always created sort of stories and I love acting. I love it, just losing myself in this. So I always knew and I wanted to work with my emotions and to tell stories and to share stories, but I'm, yeah. What was your fake boyfriend called? <laughs> yeah, uh, Nelson. Yeah. <laughs> Nelson, and he was handsome. Yeah. He was a goal, you know, in football. Yeah. My God, I'm so sad. <laughs> It'd be very weird if you imagined the fake boyfriend and he wasn't handsome. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 he was cool. He was the yeah. cause of his school, cool. of course. But do you think in some ways, because what you do now, being an actor, is, your acting is, it's still make-believe. It's still yeah. put, it's still putting on outfits. And it's like, you know, when you were a kid and you used to put on, I used to dress up as like Aladdin and run around with a sword. Oh, yes. But you still sort of do that as an, so does it keep you... <laughs> Young, you know, does it keep you, not young, does it just tap into that childlike quality we all have? This is funny that you say that because I worked with um, a French stage director called Ariane Mouchkin, very, very famous director, and she told us, I did um, a workshop with her and she told us the best actors are children, are kids, because when you're a pirate, when you're a pirate, you really think you're a pirate and when you're, I don't know, working in an office, you're really like, da -da 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 in an office, you really believe. And she wanted to us, because we're grown up, now we're older, to keep this in mind, this innocence, this, like a clown, you know, like very um, listen to people and very being aware and very sincere and very, and yes, I think this is part of the childhood. Yeah. And you, you mentioned at the beginning about not having, you know, that, that maybe that, that one role that you saw, but is, is there one that means that you really feel was a bit of a turning point? I mean, obviously, No Man's Land was a really successful series, yeah. and then Climax, and then, you know, you have had some big I parts. Had, is there one course. that stands out that, that no, made no, you no. think, now this is, the, this is changing? No, it's just, it's, I, I did a lot of, I had the chance to do a lot of great work, really, and very different. I'm not a kind of a... I, I try to, dif to do different characters, but I mean, the reason why I'm here for the shooting star is because, of the, because sorry, of the movie The Braves, from directed by Anaïs Volpe, and it was my first experience as a main leader, as a main character, and I didn't, I never had the chance to experience wh wh how is it to work, how how big is the work when you're a lead character, and. 
that's why I said I don't have this role that changes my life. It, it's not true, but it feels like I'm touching a bit of theater, uh, TV, and then movies, and then ta ta ta, and independent movies, and then now I'm coming to do popular, more popular. It's so different, and it's very rich. It's, it's ama I'm very lucky, I'm very happy to do it. But now with uh, the Braves, I think I, I go into something more. I gave myself for that movie. I'm naked in this movie. I mean, not naked, naked. You mean, you know what I mean? I give everything. I lost my soul in that movie. So it was very, very important to me, to people to watch this film. And just very quickly, my last question, because uh, I was interviewed Ariane Labad yesterday. Oh, and obviously yeah. you worked with her. On, uh, I, this is where I'm going to be very English. I'm going to try, avant le effondrement. I can't say Avant that. l'effondrement. That's, uh, that, that's what I meant, that's what I meant. <laughs> um, is that, have you shot that yet? Is that, is yeah, that uh, we did it. So excited to see it, I mean, a great cast. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's with uh, Nils Schneider, yeah, Ariane Labad. <laughs> and, no, no, it's, this is also something, I'm happy this year, 2023, is going really cool for me. I have great projects coming out and I have great shooting also. It's, I'm really, really glad. And I shoot with Neil Schoener and Rad Labed this summer, the movie called Avant l'effondrement from Alice and Benoit Zeniter. And it's about collapsology. Uh, in, in French, in French, we say collapsology, you know, about uh, climate change, about politics, about love, where it's a, it's a, it's hard to pitch this movie, but I had the chance to work with both of them, and they are so huge actors, and we had so much fun. And yeah, we hope this movie also is going to touch people um, straight into the heart. Well, good luck with the rest of 2022. You deserve all of this success. Thank you. Cool, thank, thank you so you. much. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!